Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and this is The Groom, and we're here doing our midweek movie review with The Groom. What did we see? We watched Shaun of the Dead, which is the 2004 Edgar Wright movie starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. And it is a zombie horror comedy hilarious movie. <laughs> uh, why don't you tell us a little about the movie? So the movie opens with Sean trying to get his life together after his girlfriend kind of insinuates and, in, um, like, if, if you don't get things together, this is kind of over. I don't want to end up sitting in a pub all the time, just wasting my life away. So in the day's events that follow of him trying to get everything together while trying to appease both his girlfriend Liz and see his mom and deal with his stepdad and also his flatmates Pete and Ed. Weird things start happening, people start dropping, and we find out that we are in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. So he formulates a plan after kind of things going south with Liz that he's not only going to save his mom, uh, take care of his stepdad, unfortunately, He's going to save his girlfriend in the hopes of winning her back, and they're going to hole up in the Winchester, which is a pub that they were talking about not ending up in, but they end up there, and we get to follow this whole journey and all the follies, all the fun stuff that happens on the way there, and I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this movie, but I don't want to spoil it, so just we'll case. just we'll stop there. What did you like about this movie? I love Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. I think their dynamic together is um, is amazing. It's everything you ever want in a two friends against the world going on an adventure movie. And it's not only this movie, it's a lot of their other movies, Hot Fuzz, Paul, World's End. There's it's every time these two guys are in a, are in a movie together, I will always give it a chance. Because it's usually great. And you can tell that they're friends in real life. And that they're, you know, the way they play off each other, you can tell that not a lot of this is actually scripted. It's just them two just going off each other. And it's amazing. And I loved every minute of it. What did you like? So I'm a huge fan of the show Spaced, which we <laughs> all know is also Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, and a bunch of... Uh, little cameos in this movie as well i love uh like it's so funny i love all the references to um romero and other horror movies i particularly love the girl in the garden scene and the killer queen scene because like hello queen is amazing and it's just like that they're so iconic and every time you hear don't stop me now. That's all I can think about. <laughs> you know, just the pool cues. I. Uh, it was just. It's so good. It's so good. This movie is amazing. I love this movie. One of my favorite specific scenes is, and it's not like, not gonna give away a spoiler, but the record scene when they're in the backyard going through the records, figuring out which ones to throw. I love that scene because he's like, no, 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 that's the second record I ever bought. It's a fir first pressing. Like, that's that's actually some serious shit. <laughs> I know. That's what, like, just, like, I I just love, I love that. All right. What did you not like about this movie? <sighs> that it had to end. <laughs> I just really liked this movie. I felt like the balance was so good. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those movies that I feel like I could literally watch every week and still appreciate it and still laugh at it. And the outtakes... Are amazing if you've never seen them they're so funny oh i just if i had to pick something and it's really hard to pick something because this is like also for me one of my favorite movies especially like even favorite com comedy movies if i had to pick something if you forced me to i would say that it's I mean, and some some of it's done as tongue in cheek, but the zombies are kind of like eh, iffy. They're they're not bad, but they're not good. They're kind of like a middle ground. Which I mean, it, like if you're forcing me to pick something, that would probably be the one thing that I didn't like. But that's just that's that's splitting hairs because I think most of the cor the corniness of the zombies in this in this in this movie when they're in the mass 
when they're in like the mass hurting it's some of it's the some of the things that i don't like were done t- tongue in cheek so it's hard to really split hairs and do that but i guess i thought I, the zombies were good i guess i thought I, some I, of the cgi blood could have been left out yeah i mean like but that's also like 2004 CGI. Yeah, and like so. the individual zombies, some of the individual zombie stuff was good. I'm talking like when they were in the big mass and they were like moving and stuff like that. Some some of it was a little cheeky. Well, George but Romero it's... always said that he would never tell actors like specify how the zombies were supposed to move because if he told them to be like this, then they'd <laughs> all be like this. Or if he told them to shuffle, then they'd all shuffle. And he was just like, ugh. So. There's that. So, yeah. Okay, so where can they find the movie? You can find this on a lot of streaming platforms. You can also find this in physical copy, Blu-ray, and DVD. I'm pretty sure Blu-ray, but I'm definitely sure different streaming. It's usually always on Netflix, so... Usually. I mean... We were actually fortunate enough that a local uh, movie theater who does like a cult cult classic movie every uh every weekend this actually came on the uh on the circuit for uh for the local theater so we were able to go out we we went out with our friend amber who was on the channel Mm -hmm. um she's uh she came she came with us we saw this and i was just i never got to see it in theater that's why it was especially like important for me to go to go and see it because I never got a chance to see it in the theater because I was in the mil- military when this came out, so I was very happy that I got to see it on the on the big screen. So, what would you rate it? I I honestly do give this like a five out of five. I feel like it is such a good balance. It's written so well. The jokes are funny. The gore is good, minus the CGI blood. The gore is amazing, and it's just like it was one of the first funny zombie movies that really nailed it and was solid and amazing and the soundtrack is bomb hello (laughs) um i also have to give it five out of five this movie came out 14 years ago and it's still rel relevant and funny up against any other horror comedy i know there's like new stuff coming out and you can say Zombieland was like a was like a zombie com- comedy movie, and that's a great movie. But I don't think anything will ever top this because this, like you said, it's so balanced. The comedy's good. There still is enough gore in it for it to be considered a zombie movie, and I think that's what gets lost in a lot of these other comedy horror movies. Is you still have to have some type of horror gore in it in order for it to be like a horror com- comedy movie. So it's. It's I think like like you said the balance is great the the acting's phenomenal, and it's just it's a great movie it's a great time and like you said it's something you can watch over and over again and really never get tired of it, so I definitely would also give it five out of five. I've heard it referred to as a zom rom com. <laughs> zom rom because it is romantic I Th- suppose. It's that's hilarious. All right, so tell them where they can find you. You can find me on Facebook at Ranimator Reviews. And on Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find me on Twitch at Repeat Ray Animator, playing video games, having a great time. You can also follow me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. You'll know when I go online. I also share any uploads of videos and everything else that we do here on the on the channel. So, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you didn't like the video. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. If you have different opinions than ours, let us know what do you think was uh, one of the more like groundbreaking genre movies in your opinion. What did you like best about Shaun of the Dead? Let us know. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications of future uploads and live streams because I never give any warning. Don't forget to comment future movies you would like us to watch i know this wasn't a suggestion but we were already going to see it so we're like we might as well do a review of it we're still gonna we're still gonna be constantly looking through comments from this video other videos that i've done for suggestions for future movies because sometimes we may just run out of ideas and we're gonna turn to you guys i don't think we're gonna run out of ideas with this many movies we'll be fine we're gonna run out of stuff but please please do give us suggestions because 
He doesn't like watching anything I suggest. <laughs> I, I love their suggestions. Even if I don't like the movie, I still love the fact that you guys want me to watch these movies. So keep them up. All right, guys? Okay, bye.